Welcome to Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. My name is Kurt, and today we're going to take a look at the ugly quilts. What is an ugly quilt? What makes it ugly? Why might you want one? Let's take a look. I started the ugly quilt project uh, basically to make lower cost synthetic insulation quilts. Not everybody wants to drop a ton of money on down. Down does have its advantages, uh, but so does synthetic. You can crush synthetic. You can pack this down as tight as you can and it will spring back. It doesn't really get damaged and it is a little more weather resistant uh, to standard down. Uh, it can get wet, it can have rain blowing on it, it can be very very damp and it's not going to lose a lot of performance. The cost is also a lot easier to absorb if you're new to hammock camping or again if you only hammock camp occasionally or you don't want to spend those big bucks on a down system. This is a basic rectangle design uh, with cinched ends. So you can open this up and use this as a blanket if you really chose to. Um, for the shell and the liner, I'm using 1.6 ounce Hyper D Ripstop. It, it's a little bit heavier, but I, uh, I like this option because that's what I use for uh, the Coyote Pack and the Westrums. The color options match up really nice if you want to have a matching quilt and hammock set. So what makes it ugly? Uh, more or less it is the build process that I use. I don't do the standard, you know, put everything together inside out, sew it like 90% of the way around, flip it out, you know, flip it inside out and, and then put it together that way. I sew this kind of in like a sandwich method. So it's put together exactly the way you see it. And it gives the edges this kind of weird, uh, almost like a weird V seam in here like that. All right. So I've got that all the way around, and I use this double baffle style hem, I guess you call it, uh, the seam, that gives it a little bit of rigidity when it's hanging. Now this isn't hanging properly because it's just attached to a tree, so you don't really see it. But So you've got that on all four edges, and then at the foot and head ends, um, there's a sewn channel with a, a cord lock, and the other end has just got a... Just a a bunch of knots to hold that in together and then you can tighten and loosen this so your your cinch mechanism here is also your suspension goes up to a small carabiner which you can hang on your on your hammock suspension and then just a series of two knots these are slip knots so you can adjust this is the uh, suspension of your quilt just by adjusting these and if you put them further apart it tightens it up. If you put them closer together, it loosens it. And you've got that on both ends. So this is a, a full length. This is about 70 inches. Um, and there's also a three quarter length, which is about 40 inches. And I've got one sitting here. I'm gonna show that to you real quick. Let me get the camera set up and I'll show you the three quarter length. All right, so this is a three quarter length. This was the, the prototype of the Ugly Quilts. Um, so you can see it's much shorter. But it's just designed to cover your core. And it's a similar concept. I just, instead of using a sewn channel um, ribbon on the ends, I just fold it over the end of the quilt. But this is basically the same, same thing, just a smaller size. Um, the insulation I'm using is rated two. There we go. The insulation I'm using is rated down to between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's also another reason why I opted to use the heavier fabric, the 1.6 versus like 1.2, which is what this is made with. That 1.6 will hold in a little bit, a little bit more heat. But the three quarter, I and mean, this this packs down relatively small, and there's still room to go with that. So I'm gonna go set up the full length over on a coyote pack and I'll show you what it looks like in action. All right, so I've got the coyote pack set up and all you do is you take your, your carabiners and clip them to your suspension and it's super simple. Clip on one. Put on the second one. And get the hammock inside goes on just that simple. The quilt is about 52, 50 to 52 inches wide, depending on how the insulation is cut. 
but it gives you plenty of space to do a cross lay and I'll show you that as well I'll get in there but you can see how this ugly quilt style uh, helps keep the quilt rigid and that stiffens up as you get in it and then pretty much once you have it set for your hammock you can just leave it you don't have to mess around with it at all you just clip it on when you're done take it off throw it back in the stuff sack back in your backpack and off you go So I'll bring you inside with me and show you what it's like on the inside. So once you get in the hammock here, just reach over to the side. Get yourself situated. You can see it's all the way down to my feet. I'm 5'10". Um, all the way down to my feet. And this is up past my head here. I don't know if you can make that out. I think they work pretty good. I've been making these quilts for about mm, two and a half years, three years now. Uh, I just haven't settled on one design. Um, I, I started with a couple winter quilts and learned a lot from those. I made some summer quilts, learned a lot from those. Made another set of winter quilts last year. Um, and then uh, this year started with that uh, three-quarter quilt uh, for a Kentucky trip and it worked really really well so I'm, I'm pretty happy with them uh, hopefully you guys like them if you want to learn more about the ugly quilt pilot program uh, go to hemlockmountainoutdoors.com uh, the information's on there uh, I will start working on top quilts um, I, I've got a uh, summer quilt I've been using for the last two seasons uh, that I, I use and it works really well with this kind of ugly, ugly quilt design um, I might just use that. It's another kind of basic rectangular shape that has a, a snap close foot box. Or I might make it a sewn end foot box. I've never really opened up the top quilt <clears throat> to use it as a blanket or anything like that. So I don't know if it's really necessary. Uh, so I'll figure it out. My winter quilt is a sewn foot box and I might just use that, that design. <clears throat> it's really, actually really warm. Um, it's it's probably 70 degrees out, a little too warm to be sitting in a quilt. <clears throat> but yeah, so a top quilt will be coming shortly, um, and I'll do a pilot program for that too. So check out hemlockmountainoutdoors.com. I have all the specs, um, the current pricing. Uh, phase one I just wrapped up. Uh, that was the, the lowest cost phase for these. Um, so now we're, we're on to phase two. It's June... 22nd so 2019 so just starting phase two the price went up a little bit on them um, and then at some point I'll put them out to the general population and it'll be the, the regular price so if you want to get in on this as well the price is still low um, hurry up <laughs> I don't know how long I'll keep phase two going so again thanks for checking out Hemlock Mountain Outdoors and hope you like the ugly quilt
so I'll bring you inside with me and show you what it's like on the inside. So once you get in the hammock here, just reach over the side, get yourself situated. You can see it's all the way down to my feet. I'm 5'10". Um, all the way down to my feet, and this is up past my head here. I don't know if you can make that out. But I think they work pretty good. I've been making these quilts for about mm, two and a half years, three years now. Uh, I just haven't settled on one design. Um, I, I started with a couple winter quilts and learned a lot from those. They made some summer quilts, learned a lot from those. Made another set of winter quilts last year. Um, and then uh, this year started with that uh, three-quarter quilt uh, for a Kentucky trip. And it worked really, really well. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, hopefully you guys like them. If you want to know more about the Ugly Quilt pilot program, uh, check out Hemlock Mountain Outdoors uh, dot com. If you want to learn more about the if you want to learn more about the Ugly Quilt pilot program, uh, go to Hemlock Mountain Outdoors dot com. Uh, the information's on there. Uh, I will start working on top quilts. Um, I I've got a uh, summer quilt I've been using for the last two seasons uh, that I, I use, and it works really well with this kind of ugly ugly quilt design. Um, I might just use that it's another kind of basic rectangular shape that has a, a snap close foot box or i might make it a sewn end foot box i've never really opened up the top quilt <clears throat> to use it as a blanket or anything like that so i don't know if it's really necessary uh, so i'll figure that out my winter quilt is a sewn foot box and i might just use that that design <clears throat> it's really actually really warm um it's it's probably 70 degrees out, a little too warm to be sitting in a quilt. <clears throat> but yeah, so a top quilt will be coming shortly. Um, and I'll do a pilot program for that too. So check out hemlockmountainoutdoors.com. I have all the specs, um, the current pricing. Uh, phase one I just wrapped up. Uh, that was the, the lowest cost phase for these. Um, so now we're, we're on to phase two. It's June 22nd, so 2019. So just starting phase two, the price went up a little bit on them. Um, and then at some point I'll put them out to the general population and it'll be the, the regular price. So if you want to get in on this as while well, the price is still low, um, hurry up. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll keep phase two going. So thanks for checking this out. Um, I'm going to enjoy myself some camp and uh, yeah. So again, thanks for checking out Hemlock Mountain Outdoors and hope you like the ugly quilt.